So guys, for the first step, once you're in your web browser, you want to click on the three dots on the top right, and then click on settings. And then you want to click on privacy and security, and then you want to click on delete browsing data. Now these steps are going to be different depending on your web browser, but they'll still be pretty similar. And now you want to click on basic, and you want to make sure that cookies and other site data, browsing history, and your cache have all been selected. And then make the time range all time, and then click on delete data. Now for the second step, once you're on your web browser, you want to click on the three dots on the top right, and then click on settings. And then on the bottom is going to say something like about Chrome or about Edge or about Brave. It's going to be pretty much the same no matter which web browser. So once you click on that, it's going to see if your web browser has an update or not. If it does, then it will just automatically do it for you. Now once you complete these first two steps, you just want to close out your web browser and then just open it up again. And then this should fix your problem. But if the problem is still not fixed, then we're going to head over to search and then type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once we're on this, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush dns and click on enter. Then we're going to type in netsh space winsock space reset and click on enter again. Then you want to restart your computer and then that's fix the problem. 